Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to form the partial differential equation by eliminating the arbitrary function f. In the given equation, the number of arbitrary pre function present is 1 and that is f. So, we are going to use only the first order derivative partial differentiation of z with respect to x which is named as p and dou z by dou y which is named as q. Only these two to eliminate the arbitrary function. So let us name this as the first expression and differentiating this one partially with respect to x first. So this side it will become dou z by dou x. Y is treated as a constant so it is kept as it is f derivative is f dash and the inner function is written as it is and as for the chain rule this term should be differentiated here y is a constant so it is written as it is then remaining is 1 by x its derivative is minus 1 by x square now rearranging this is p equal to f dash of y by x by multiplying both the y and there is a minus sign so minus y square and denominator there is x square. This is our second expression. The same way we are going to take the first expression again and we are going to do partial derivative with respect to y. So z will become dou z by dou y. Now we have two terms. So we have to use product rule for this. y is one term, f is another term. So first term y is kept as it is, f derivative is f dash and inner term should be written as it is. Now we are doing partial derivative with respect to y. So x is constant, so the constant 1 by x is written as it is and y derivative is 1. Then the second term f of y by x is written as it is and derivative of the first term y is 1. Rearranging this, this is q equal to f dash of y by x into y by x and this is f of y by x. Now from the question, this entire term f of y by x is nothing but taking this to the other side z by y. So this term can be replaced as z by y. So finally we get q equal to f dash of y by x into y by x plus z by y. Now taking z by y to the other side q minus z by y equal to f dash of y by x into y by x and this is named as the third expression. Now we are going to divide second expression by third expression. So on the left hand side in the numerator we have to write this p and divided by q minus z by y and while dividing this f dash of x term that is f dash of y by x term gets cancelled. After cancelling these two, the remaining term when we write minus y square by x square in the numerator, minus y square by x square in the numerator and the denominator it is y by x. Since it is a fraction, we can take the reciprocal and multiply and here it is p by, if you take it, LCM, this will become q y minus z and this is minus y square by x square we can take a reciprocal of the denominator and multiply here into x by y so that we can cancel x and this x square y and this y square and again in the denominator we have fraction so if I take the reciprocal y will be multiplied with p so p y by q y minus z equal to minus y by x. I am going to cross multiply. So p into x y equal to, if I multiply this, 
first term is minus q y square plus y z. We have to rearrange the final answer in the form of capital P small p plus capital Q small q equal to r. So first when we write the first term that is the p term it will be x y into p and q term I have to take this to this side so plus y square into q and other term is y z and throughout the term we find y common so we can divide by y so it will be x into p plus y into q equal to z so this is our required partial differential equation after eliminating the given arbitrary function f